Um, my name's Griff Simmons. Uh, we're at Mount Flora Station. Um, commercial beef herd operation, uh, primarily Drought Master Brahman Cross, uh, running around the seven and a half thousand uh, adult breeder uh, cattle, uh, turning off uh, primarily weaners um, direct to market. We've sent uh, 1,100 steers and uh, just in the last two or three days there have been 400 heifers go to market, plus uh, you know, prime cows um, to sales in Rockhampton uh, over the last 11 weeks. We try to work with the, the buyers uh, with their requirements and a lot of the steers and the heifers have gone uh, back into the, the western areas around Longreach to restockers. They've had uh, reasonable rain throughout the year or through winter and uh, in a position now to, to restock and uh, you know because we're in tick area they uh, need help with treatment and with the new yard we've uh, put in a plunge dip for our own benefit as well you know to treat ticks on the properties and and also helps uh, with them getting across the tick line. You know, initially rang Proway, um, spoke to Damien Halloway and he uh, came up and had a look at the site. He came back with uh, a design and we played with it somewhat and with a large uh, yard you want to make sure that it's going to work and be right and Damien convinced me to go away from the old conventional type crushes and the like and I'm glad that you know, he convinced me to do so because cattle flow through them very very well and uh, couldn't be any happier with uh, the way the yards have of uh, work. As soon as they were completed, we the following week we had cattle coming in the yards, and uh, you know it was a relatively quick you know build, uh, which was a, the attraction to me was that uh, between rounds of mustering we knew that the yards were going to be completed, so that you know, we wouldn't uh, wouldn't be held up with uh, you know, mustering and, and the like. You know, Proway team were, were really helpful, like very understanding that we, we had to stick to a time schedule to, to get the yards completed. Because uh, they are our main, main home yards or the central yards, uh, all our weaners come back to be processed and you know, processed for sales and, and uh, weaned and we, uh, we really didn't have much of a window for delay and um, you know, very happy that, that the construction was kept in schedule and, and was completed. So didn't impact on our um, you know, mustering program at all. Contemplating you know, rebuilding the yards myself, but it was uh, more of a time issue with uh, the old yards. It's like, where do you start? Where do you finish so you can continue to, to muster? And I've seen Proway yards that I've delivered to. Uh, I was very impressed with the you know, the construction. In the old yards, breeders that come in, we draft, taking cattle through once and then having to bring them back round. Now we can draft and you know, other staff can be up at the adult cattle crush preg testing, five way option to draft out through the, the crush uh, as well. It's just made everything a lot quicker. You know, a couple of steps and uh, get them all done in, in you know, one go. That in itself, takes the, the stress out of cattle going round and round many times through through the yards and you know they're in and out of the yards quicker. It's it's excellent, you know, because you can draft cattle numbers of ways and, and then you don't have to shift, you know, or play drafts as I say, um, with cattle trying to bring them around or if you want to load or take cattle out, you know, every yard's got water in it. So um, they really don't have to be moved until they're you know, either going on a truck or going back to paddock. As the old saying is, time's money. And uh, previously, our yeah, rounds of mustering can and do go out to 12 to 14 weeks. And usually that you know, comes down to, to time spent in yards. And I think we've probably saved ourselves a couple of weeks, especially processing our wieners, like all our wieners and that are processed in the new yard. and. It's been a big saving. Um, in the old yard, you know, we have a lot of trouble loading out. Now we can put prime cows into their deck lots, pull the gate open and they just walk on and it's like they've been doing it all their lives. That in itself uh, takes the stress out of it for, for them and you're not stressing yourself as well. It's good on staff, you know, it's safer. There's always an element of risk working cattle, but uh, 
with the uh, walkways and you know, the outside handling facilities, it's reduced that risk to staff and that's a, that's a big positive in my point of view. It's uh, good for the whole round operation. We've got uh, a crew of new staff and they're very, you know, very capable but they're still learning as well and uh, I think with them being able to work the cattle outside of the yard you know, that tends to let them build confidence in themselves with their cattle handling skills. With people not having to actually get in the yards to you know, force them into the crush and, and uh, working areas with the uh, rotary force and, and the lead up to the adult cattle crush is a terrific uh, idea. It minimises stress on the cattle as well and you know, they, they've really got very few options now. They're encouraged to go with no bashing or jiggering and I uh, now wish that I had another four sets exactly the same. I found ProA overall and the experience with the construction uh, it was excellent, you know, excellent experience. Like you're going to build this set of yards, you want to make sure that they're going to be right because once they're in the ground, it's hard to, to make changes. I would highly recommend um, anybody that's considering to build a new set of yards to uh, to give Proway uh, a look because um, they won't be disappointed. Nothing was too hard, and uh, the follow-up afterwards, like uh, you know, from not only Damien but um, uh, Bird and, and you know, the other other guys that were here for construction, you, you couldn't have asked for, for better service. If you look at the, the overall expense, they are an asset that's going to last you, you know, 40 or 50 years. And they'll see me out and they'll be more than likely to see my son out. You know, they're pretty much a once in a lifetime investment and over that period of time they're a fairly cheap investment.